So Bobby Heenan is in the ring. He calls out Crush. And Crush comes out with Mr. Fuji. And a goatee. <laughs> I can say a goat. <laughs> that would be even better. He says Randy Savage was his best friend, brother. Your word was like gold to me, brah. <laughs> but then the student passed up the teacher. You couldn't handle it. You know what's funny is I I use brother and bra ironically. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really funny to watch Crush using it unironically here. Yeah. It was just like and he goes, he said something like, "You're not my friend, brother." <laughs> like, man. I, I'm buying this. <laughs> so You're not my friend, brother. So he gets explains why he's been so mad at Randy Savage all this time. When I stepped up against Yokozuna, you knew I wasn't 100%, but you said you had my back if there was any outside interference. Well, there was outside interference, and you sat six feet away on your butt as I took four bonsai drops. Before you finally pulled me out. And he and takes the mic back and says, Four bonsai drops. Your whole existence could have been over. Not your career. Not your life. Your existence. Yokozuna would have erased him from the time stream via bonsai drop. Cross explains he wanted me out of the World Wrestling Federation. He saw me on that plane out to Hawaii. And then he called me twice. Not to see how good I was doing, but to see how bad I was doing. He turns to Mr. Fuji, says, I was on the beach at the hotel that this man and all of his ancestors own. And came back and he has one last warning for the macho man. Stay out of my life, stay out of my business, and stay out of my way. So Savage ignores all these warnings. He gets in the ring. Says, you're making a mistake. I've made a million mistakes in my life. You're making a mistake right now. This guy, Heenan, is an agitator. This guy, Fuji, is a parasite. We can go away from these two goofs and agree to disagree, but you've got to give me a chance to talk to you. But you need to back down right now because you're out of line. And he offers a handshake. And Heenan tells Crush, don't shake his hand, but Crush shoves Bobby Heenan away. And Heenan runs for his life. And Crush hesitates, hesitates, hesitates. Finally shakes hands with a macho man, and they're leaving the ring together, and they appear to have come to a truce, but then Crush sabotages him, lays him out in the aisle, destroys him, and Jim Cornette brings out Yokozuna for good measure, and this time Savage is the one taking the bonsai drop, and they're sure to note that while Crush took four of these, Randy Savage only took one before the officials pulled him out of the ring. So it's October, it is not yet Survivor Series, this feud does not get blown off until WrestleMania. Yeah. Slow you build. Know, I watched this thing, and I'm not the biggest fan of old Crush, especially his matches. But I thought he was good here. Mm-hmm. And I thought that Macho Man Randy Savage was awesome. And I thought that both of them did an exceptional job to the point where Savage was so good at giving his side of the story. And Crush was so good listening and reacting to it, the fans really wanted to see them reconcile. And I'm watching this, and I'm just thinking, I knew what was going, obviously, because it's pro wrestling. And it went exactly where I expected, exactly when I expected. But I was watching it thinking, has there ever been an angle in pro wrestling where there were two people where something like this happened? They didn't like getting a fight, but you know, maybe one guy was getting beaten. The other guy wasn't there quick enough. The one guy got really mad. They built it up for weeks and weeks and weeks. They finally do that big confrontation together. The babyface explains, dude, this is why I wasn't there. This is what happened. I'm sorry. Just let's let's make this right. They should do that tomorrow on Dynamite. And the babyface <laughs> and the other the other guy, they fucking make it right. And they never feud. They become a happy team. Has that ever happened? Swerve and Keith Lee. Well, I think okay. that was because I feel like that was because plans changed. Mm. Like, has there ever been a, a like where that was the plan? Like, we're gonna build this feud, but then the babyface is gonna convince the other guy 
that, you know, one or the other was wrong, and and the fans want to see them reconcile, and they do, and then they, like, go win the tag titles together or something. I don't think it's ever, ever happened. No. This was a heavy heat angle. It was good. Um, Crush actually pressed Savage over his head and dropped him on the guardrail. Savage came up bleeding from the mouth, and I think he did the Brian Alvarez blade job as well. No, uh, I, I honestly think he put a blood capsule in. They they said that he had lacerated his tongue. Yes, and, and, and uh, crushed his larynx. Uh, <laughs> well, no, they 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 said he la- like he bit his tongue when he hit the the barricade. Yes, but he was. But the funny thing is, like he goes in the ring and he's bleeding and everything. He's bleeding all over the place, and they're doing this heavy heat angle. He's getting beaten on everything like that, and they go to commercial. They go, "When we get back, we'll have an update on Randy Savage." And of course, you do remember when he had his larynx lacerated or whatever that was with the ring sad. bell. That was Ricky Steamboat. Yes, but uh, they come back and, and Vince goes, uh, "He's got a lacerated tongue." Well, more after the break. They go to the break or whatever. They come back and Vince goes, yeah, "He's got a lacerated tongue." Turns out he bit his tongue. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but he was also. Oh. He oh, well, also- I don't give a fuck now. <laughs> he bit his fucking tongue. Who cares? He blew it off. The same show. It's not even like, oh, next week we'll find the status of his tongue. <laughs> it may be in the first row. We're not sure yet. There was another Raw. He may never be able to be Randy Savage again because he can't talk without a tongue. There was another 93 Raw where they did yes, this. Yes. It, it may have been Yokozuna squashing Crush, actually. But they, they did some massive beat down angle. Like I got stretched out and came after the break, came back from break and Vince says, he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> God. I wasn't calling. I didn't infer that he was blading his tongue. He was bleeding from the forehead as well. Oh, he but, did that. But just a little bit. That's why. He may have he, actually hit his head on the guardrail. It was today. a big a drop onto this guardrail. Crush well, is they, a big, strong dude. Well, they, they showed it again. It was interesting because usually when you drop some guy in the guardrail, it's like you drop him in a standing position, and then yes. they, you know, they land on their, their feet and armpits yeah, yeah. over. No, he fucking like Savage went mouth first, head first, yes, and then his, his body followed. His feet were above his head. Yes. And they showed a replay later, and when he lands, like he reaches for his mouth. Mm. So I guess it's possibly he bit his tongue and it was reaching for his tongue. I sure. thought he was popping in the uh, the uh, Blood, blood cap. capsule. Yeah. Because yeah. this was, what date was this? October 18th, 1993. There were fucking blood capsules everywhere. It's Halloween. Sure. That's where we used to get them for the YWF. Uh-huh. We'd stock up every Halloween on blood capsules gotcha. and then use it throughout the rest of the year. Because there was no Amazon where you could That's Google fair. blood That's capsules. Fair. That's and, fair. Uh, yeah, yeah. We had to stock up when we could. Well, this Vince, was good. This was really good. This is very, very good. It was, it was, it was better than I expected. Yes. Absolutely. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar gives a back kick. Camera cut. She does a back fist. Camera cut. She starts to run. Camera cut. She gets a hip attack. Camera cut. She drops to her knees. Camera cut. She throws a kick. Camera cut. She stands up and screams. Camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious. Do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.